Hello, bonjour, Alberta. Did you know that at least 238,000 people speak Francais in Alberta, and those numbers just keep on growing? Oui, oui, c'est vrai, it's true. And thanks to Shaw TV Community Access Programming, we get to reach out to everyone to let you know all about special people, places, events, and activities happening right here in this great province in both English and en français. That's right, mes amis. We begin the first part of our program in English, and then we repeat it en français. So stay with us. Restez à l'écoute. Welcome and bienvenue to Hello Bonjour Alberta. We're in our 12th season, we've done over 140 episodes, and we continue to, sep to uh, celebrate the twinning of the cities of Calgary and Quebec City. We also celebrate in our show the ling linguistic duality of Canada here in Alberta. Did you know that French was the first European language spoken in Alberta? In this episode, we're going to give you an insight into what young people are doing in the schools in French. <coughs> we are very pleased to have with us Stephanie Craig, the founder, and Amélie Dreyfus, a dancer in Acadance. Bienvenue and welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Let's start by finding out a little bit about you. Um, unfortunately, we'll start with, with, with <laughs> Stephanie because, you know, elders yeah. get um, <laughs> to do that sort of thing. So can you tell us, Stephanie, where are you originally from if it's not Calgary and how did your life develop to end up here? Okay, um, I'm from Shetty Camp in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia um, mm. and my husband found a job here in Calgary in mm. oil. And uh, so about four years ago, we decided to, to move to Calgary, come to the west and discover this nice uh, city. So what's your educational background? What did you, what did you mm -hmm. do in, in Shetty Camp? Um, I, well, I did my elementary and high school in Shetty Camp. Which is in Nova Scotia. In Nova Scotia, right, not yeah. Not Quebec, for no. those <laughs> might wonder if it's there. And um, we were, Shetty Camp is a small Acadian village. Um, so Acadian is a French uh, dialect um, coming Back, it, it dates back from France in the 1600s. Uh, so we have a, a different accent and a different dialect than Quebecers. And um, so I finished my high school there and then I went on to Halifax to study at an English university because I wanted to enhance my English. I studied um, surprisingly French <laughs> and <laughs> theater. Um, and after that, I was really interested in education. So I decided to go to La Baie Sainte Marie and uh, go to Université Saint Anne, which is the only French university in Nova Scotia, and studied education there. Um, I studied to teach in high school French and drama, and uh, after that I just finished my masters uh, by correspondence uh, through Saint Effects University in Antigonish, Nova Scotia, uh, masters in resource teaching. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> so. And how did the dance come about? Were you always a dancer? Pretty much, yeah. I was very active as a child. So, and in Shetty Camp, the, the fiddle music is very present. The, the Acadian Celtic cult culture is very present. So it, I, I was brought up into that. And um, I thought that learning instruments needed too much practice, too much time. So, and dance came easy to me. So I started taking courses when I was four. And then um, we had an artistic director who started a dance troupe when I was in grade four and went, uh, went on into that troupe until grade 12. After that, wow. I was their choreographer, so I'd, I'd travel <coughs> on the weekends right. to go choreograph mm -hmm. some dances for them. And then we started mm. doing some summer shows um, for, tour for tourists. So I was a professional dancer, actor, and choreographer uh, for about six years between 2007 and 2011. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And that's what you brought to Alberta. And that's yeah. what I brought to, to Alberta. Alberta. I really, uh, the first years that I was here, there was so, there was something lacking in my life. I loved teaching, but the reason I got into teaching was to to really connect culturally with my students. And I thought, what way could I do that? And then I finally got Amelie's <laughs> cohort in grade five uh, three years ago, yeah. and some of those uh, students. Um, really wanted to learn about the Acadian step dancing, so I decided to, to show them some, some steps some during steps. our lunch hours, yeah. and mm -hmm. um, they really liked it, so we created a dance, we presented it at a school concert, and then we saw that there was some interest. So the year after that, I decided to create the dance troupe. All right. Yeah. Well, let's, okay. let's get Amelie's story here. Yeah. Before it goes too far. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I was born in Calgary, and um, I went to Saint Marguerite Bourgeoise, my first school until sixth grade, and I am currently in seventh grade at Bishop Pinkham. Um, apart, yeah. How long have you, you been come, dancing? Yeah, uh, I've been dancing um, as the Acadian with the Acadian step dance. It's been, I think, two years and a half, about. Did you yeah. do another type of dance before that? Um, as a kid, I did a little bit of ballet and jazz, but not very much. Mm, okay. okay. And are your parents dancers? No, they are not. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, you got her on the spot now. Okay. Yeah. In big trouble for that. So when when the opportunity came up to do these dances, why why were you and your friends interested? Um, well, we just thought it was something um, more interesting to do because we. Um, we didn't have much things to do over lunch and we were just looking for something more to do and so we thought it was just a great way to spend a couple minutes of our time. It's a lot of exercise. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it, mostly it's just fun, I think. Yes, it yeah, is. That's yeah, that's a lot of fun. Okay, so you started up a troupe. How do you do that? Like, what, yeah. what do you do to start up a troupe? Well, it's different every time. Um, <coughs> this time, since the, the students were so interested, it was pretty easy. Um, I sent out, I, I went, I decided to, to not s to start too early. So I decided to go talk to the grade fives, grade six, and if they were interested in high school, but there wasn't that much interest in high school yet. Um, and I think we had about 12, 13 girls last year yeah, as well we that did. decided that were interested. Um, some left, some joined us uh, last January, January of 2015. And um, so it was pretty much just word of mouth. And um, so you're about a dozen most yeah, of the yeah, time? Yeah, we're 13 yeah. girls yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you need a <coughs> specific number? No. Or no. It, you well, will choreograph I, with, around with what I have. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'd like to, I told myself as long as I wouldn't have more than 20, <coughs> I'd be okay. Yeah. I, c okay. I think I can take care yeah. of 20 girls, but more than that would be a little bit of a so challenge. That's yeah. a little, yes. tr little tough. Yeah. So you, are you still based at St. At they call Saint Marguerite? Yeah, our Bourgeois? practices are at St. Marguerite. Well, they're at the Cité des Rocheuses, which is attached to the St. Marguerite Bourgeois School. So we use their theater mm. for our practices and our shows. Not your shows, okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you... You're only girls in yeah. your yeah. troupe yeah, right so now. Yeah, so far. We're, but we're are you looking guys? for boys? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh boy, guys, here's here's <laughs> yeah. imagine what the first and guy is going to get to do. Everything centered around him. It's going to be fantastic. We have cute girls too. <laughs> <laughs> well, all girls are pretty much cute, I think. Okay, um, so Emily, talk yeah. a little bit about uh, your costume. What um, you so we on? just wear a uh, black bodysuit um, that goes around to the shoulder, so it's a short sleeve. And there's just a, a round neckline around the front and the back. And then we have a knee-length pinkish reddish skirt, um, which is covered with a plaid belt. Okay. Yeah. And is the plaid... Um, no, not really. A I just tartan decided, of no, some kind? No, just a generic. Yeah, I wanted hair. it to match with the red skirt. Yeah. So. And you're wearing tap shoes of some kind, uh, I believe? Some sort, yeah. They're just um, some kind of like high heels. And it's like a character yeah, shoe. Yeah, character yeah. shoe. Okay. Like a theater character shoe. Yeah. Um, our old dance troupe used to dance with those shoes. We never used taps on mm. our, our clickers, on our shoes. Um, we'd really use the sound of our heels uh, to make the sound yeah. and have little microphones on the, on the dance floor. I told them that once we'd get everyone <laughs> at a certain pro level, we might be talking about clickers, adding clickers yeah. or taps onto those shoes, ah. but they're just wooden on the bottom. Okay, because that really cranks up the volume, doesn't it? Yes. When you do yes. that. Yeah. It gets quite loud. They have to be really good to, 
for it to sound good. Not yes. that they're not good, but you know, okay. if one makes a little mistake, then you hear. So hear at this at this point, you're recruiting anyone who would like yeah, to, any, to join in that in that age range. Yeah, um, I'd like for them to be at least ten years of age. Um, They'd also have to understand French since the practices and everything around Are it will in be in French. French. Yeah. Okay. Um, but they don't have to come from <coughs> a specific school as long as they're from the <coughs> area or surroundings and that they can get to the practice. Then Which is when? The practices are Thursday afternoons. Uh, at They begin at 3.30 and they end at 5. 3.30 to 5. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So an hour and a half. Yeah. <coughs> and sort of after Emily, school. Did you find yeah. that uh, difficult? Um, the first few times, especially the first year, it was a little bit difficult to get the rhythm and the basics. But once you've just learned all of that, it just becomes easy, and it, yeah. Then uh -huh. it's then it's just a question of learning the movement and the choreography yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Okay. And you really like this, right? I do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How much longer do you think you're going to be dancing with this tree? Um, possibly until. Maybe grade 12, if possible. Oh, or yeah. that's good. <laughs> yes. There's your commitment. Yeah. Stand. And assistance. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> They're help. already starting in grade 7 to assist me and to guide some practices okay. when I can't be there. So, yeah, yeah that's great. Okay. Now, it takes some money to do this, I suppose, mm -hmm. or uh, I don't know. A little bit. You know, the practice facility yeah. and 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 the, the uniforms and all that sort of thing doesn't doesn't come cheap. And mm -hmm. And do you also do some shows? Uh, we're starting. We did our annual show last year in May, so we charged at the door. We didn't charge too much because it was our first concert, um, but we got some money from that. We've been doing some uh, fundraising, so we sold uh, some smelling pencils at um, <coughs> parent-teacher meetings and at, at Christmas concerts. Uh, we danced for Global Fest last summer. We're dancing for a uh, French festival in March. And um, we also dance at Indigo, where um, they give us 10% of their funding for the time that we're there, which ah, is a great helps. amount. Um, so that's been our fundraising. Um, I'm also now charging the, the dancers a certain amount for the year just to for get the, the, the cost, sure. yeah, mm -hmm. the cost of the shoes and the, and the costumes. Um, Fortunately, we get the theater for free for our practices and for the shows, so that's great. It saves us a lot of money, and uh, that's about the gist of our of our Just expenses. How that works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does somebody make the costumes? So yeah, we actually had mm -hmm. last year a parent uh, mm -hmm. design and make the the skirts. Yeah, the we skirts. ordered the bodysuits, um, but she made the skirts. So it was a lot of work, so I think. <laughs> We're now going to either order or custom make from a seamstress uh, because she mm -hmm. realized that it, it was a lot of work. <coughs> yes. And mm -hmm. to make, they're, they're still growing so much at that age. And to make them in a way where we can adjust them easily from year to year, it takes, it takes a lot of time. So I think this year we're going to we're gonna go a little further and ask a, a seamstress, someone who is, is doing that as their main job. Okay. Yeah. I wonder, is there, is there anything distinctively different perhaps between Acadian dancing and, and more traditional Scottish dancing? Um, good question. Acadian dancing has a little bit more movement of the arms. <coughs> Some of our <coughs> steps, we've included Irish dancing, <coughs> we've included um, a little bit of Ontario, Quebec steps as well. So we lift our legs a little higher for some steps. Uh, for the most part though, it's pretty yeah. low on ground. Um, Scottish dancing, they really held their shoulders and their head, like the, the upper part of their body didn't very move quiet, that much. Yeah, yeah very quiet. Um, we kind of keep that, but we move a little bit more than they do. And you don't mm. all get in one line and do the same thing like in river dance? Or uh, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Not, sometimes. Very, <coughs> not <Yeah>. very often. <laughs> no. yeah. More movement. Yeah. I, I depends on the music exactly. you're using. It, it, yeah, stuff. it depends. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. I certainly wish you great luck and, and, uh, and uh, success moving forward. And of course, if any of our viewers would like to, uh, to join mm -hmm. the troupe, we're showing some contact information for you. Perfect. And I'd like to thank you very much, uh, Amity Dreyfus and thank Stephanie you. Craig, for joining us this afternoon. Thanks to all our volunteers, and thanks to you, our viewers. But stay with us. On continue en français.